Hi guys, this is Frenchie and today I want to show you that you can reach a beautiful density without the HSV method and in just one note. Without talking more, let's go to the tutorial. So guys, I'm sick, so if I cough on the microphone, I'm sorry for that. And uh, here we are in our timeline. Um, I'm going to run you through a really quick breakdown of the grade that I've done. This one was for a commercial, uh, for a jewelry brand. And um, I really like this uh, grade, so uh, I'm quite proud to uh, show you. Uh, so um, let's just do it right now. Uh, I'm in a DaVinci White Gamut uh, color space. So if, for example, you don't know how to set the DaVinci White Gamut color space, just check my video about uh, DaVinci White Gamut. You're going to have all the answers there. For the balance, really classic one, just lift, uh, gamma gain. Uh, I use the offset too, uh, but if you can see, like the cin cinematography is already perfect so there was not a lot of stuff to do uh, in the balance uh, after I went on the HDR and uh, I just really slightly you can't maybe come detect on YouTube but I really slightly uh, toned down the light as I do as usual you know so a minus six it's almost nothing uh, after what I've um, also um, done is I applied a dehancer look on it. I took film profile, which is the Kodak Vision 350D, uh, and I coupled it with the uh, Kodak Andura uh, glossy paper uh, in the printing profile. Uh, so it's making me this uh, result that I really love. So if I show you without the balance, without, without the HDR, uh, we have this kind of result which I find it very gentle, very uh, pure. Uh, this is like what we wanted for the film. So um, that works great. To make everything a bit more separated in terms of colors, uh, I started to do a split toning, but the split toning is very simple. So I'm just gonna show you. So this is before the split toning and this is after. And uh, what I have done is only toning down my red channel so there's only my red curve that i toned down in the shadows and this is only this uh if you are also lost on the split tone i've done a video i can put it in the annotation after what i've done is just make her uh, eyes pop so we just raise the eyes for her to have this kind of light coming out of her eyes uh, so it's just like a tiny window and we tracked it and raised the curves and this is the vignette that goes with it very simple grade and uh, very efficient what we want to discuss today is how we are making this denser and also like a beautiful density i'm gonna explain my problem with hsv so hsv density is good and could be useful at some time the problem that I have with HSV is that um, it becomes grotesque really fast. Um, the colors becomes really saturated and also I find that sometimes it lose its natural look. So what I would normally do with HSV is just like I create my HSV and then uh, I'm just going to go to my color space, go to HSV and go to my channel, disable my channel one and disable my channel 3. So then I only affect the saturation on this node. To affect the saturation, I'm just going to move my gain up. So I move my gain up and I'm having denser colors and more saturated colors. If, for example, I want to have a tiny bit more contrast, I won't use the same node and go to my contrast because otherwise it will affect my colors. What I would do is just create a node after and call that contrast and then make my contrast so i just raise my contrast and after because my contrast is also adding colors and adding more saturation i can go back to my hsv and go down with my hsv to have something a bit more natural but then like it's few steps to do there's two nodes right so i'm just gonna 
take a steel to after compare uh, with my method of density. So for the technique that I have, I'm not switching in another color space, but I'm just using the composite mode out of the node to uh, create this density effect. So I'm just going to show you. After my last node, which is the dehancer, I'm just going to create a node and I'm going to call that overlay. So this is my overlay node, which is my density node. So with overlay, I don't need to do that much. I just need to right click and I'm going to go to composite mode. And in composite mode, I'm going to select overlay. When I select overlay, because it overlap the two image on each other, it will become super cranked. And of course, I won't leave it like this, right? So for us, we are interested in a very natural result. So we're going to go to our node key menu and uh, we're going to go to our key output. In our key output, we're going to go down to something 25, like 25%. So I'm just going to go to 25-ish and this is what we have. So this node is making our image, so this is before, this is after, it's making our image denser but also more contrasty. And uh, we have something that is quite natural out of the bat. Let's just compare with what we had with the HSV and the contrast node. So I'm just going to wipe it. So this was the HSV and contrast node. And this is our uh, overlay node. So this is the HSV and contrast node. And this is our overlay node. What is striking me the most in this image is actually the effect of the contrast on uh, the image. So for example, on the HSB and contrast node, it's, it's beautiful, but the problem is we are starting to have a lot of lights going on on uh, the upper part of her face, which uh, we don't have actually in the overlay uh, node. In the overlay node, we are way more closer to uh, what we had actually in uh, the previous grade without the overlay then i find that in the overlay node the light and how the contrast is interacting with the light is way more respected than for example the hsv and contrast node so that's all for me guys uh, thank you for bearing with me uh, all over the video because I'm coughing a lot. I don't think I will keep it in the editing, but I coughed a lot on this microphone. Yeah, I really hope this technique will unlock you uh, a lot of possibilities in your grade uh, because what I love with this is just with one node, you can change the whole perception of your grade because it gives so much density and uh, it brings so much crispiness in your grade that i think it's really worth to share with you uh, have fun with it experiment with it and i see you next time guys see you